guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here into 3D printing, photography, drones, tech, pool robots and whatever interests me, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. What if I told you that today we're going to review a robot that has AI built in and instead of going around wandering for dust, it just sees it with the camera, points at it and goes and cleans it. Cutting times for cleaning the pool by like 70%. We're talking about the WeBot C2 Vision. Let's roll the intro and let's talk about it. Before getting into the review, I would like to tell you about our collaboration I have ongoing with Geeks Outfit. They're providing these beautiful t-shirts and the hoodies you see me wearing in winter. All the links for your reference will be down in the description. Go check them out. I mean, they have amazing stuff. This is a WeBot C2 Vision. This is the evolution of the WeBot C1 that I reviewed last year. It's basically the same, more or less, the they look a lot the same. Links for your reference for the C1 will be up here in the description. I mean, the main evolution is in this camera and in the fact that it has AI. And uh, this camera basically senses where the dirt is and it goes there and cleans it. That means cutting time from roughly two hours to less than 15 minutes. I mean, my pool looked totally different after 15 minutes of cleaning because the camera constantly moves and searches for, for dust and debris and it goes there and with the suction power that it has, this is as uh, roughly double the suction power that the C1 had. To be precise, it has 3830 GPH. That's the scale in which you uh, basically measure um, suction power. The design is pretty much the same, but the LED now changed. You have this panel here with three different colors, blue as soon as you switch it on, blinking if it's uh, working, it's by processing some information. Then you have the green LED that tells you when uh, it's like fully green when you charge it, it means it's fully charged. Or you have a blinking green slowly growing up through this level telling you if it's like the level of, of charge and then it will turn out purple when it's connected to the app. That means you, before you put it in the water, before you give it an operation or you communicate with this uh, pool robot with your application. Dirt hunting mode is a mode that I haven't seen on many other pool robots at the moment. I mean, I'm recording this at the end of August of 2025. I haven't seen many pool robots do that. I actually haven't seen none that basically they see the dirt, they capture that, point at it, they go there and they clean it. I mean, this drone was like continuously reversing on itself, searching for for dust and dirt. And that's how we completed the clean, uh, the cleaning of the swimming pool. And that's kind of impressive. I mean, not only for the, for the technology involved, for the camera installed, but also for the fact that if you have just a spot, I mean, it happens to me in the swimming pool that all the debris concentrates in an angle, in a corner. And even though I put the robot, the WeBot C1 inside, and it was going up and down, up and down, it would have taken two hours to clean it. With this one, you just like put it close to where the debris is, and in within 10 or 15 minutes, you have your pool clean. And that's a game changer for people who take care of their swimming pool. That's a real game changer. Something else that I love about WeBot robots is that when you set it up, you can decide what kind of pool the robot you're gonna use it in. If you're gonna use it in, uh, in, uh, in a vinyl like, like mine, in a uh, above ground swimming pool, or a regular swimming pool, you have lots of modes of swimming pool that you have to select when you start configuring your, your WeBot C2 Vision in your app. And that's something I love. Something else I love that you have this time eight cleaning modes, which is like two or three more than the WeBot C1. And uh, you can have like 100 and, uh, 180 minutes uh, continuous clean. It's called clean once. Then you have clean twice, which for two days it will clean for 90 minutes and then stop. Then you have clean three times. Let's say you're out for a weekend and you want it to be clean, you want your swimming pool to be clean. You just leave it in the swimming pool and it will clean 60 minutes for three days. 
The most interesting one is the clean four times. That means that if you're awake for a week, the robot will wake up every other day for 45 minutes. So you put it inside the first day and it does 45 minutes. It will not do anything the second day. It will wake up on the third day and it will do 45 minutes. It will sleep on the fifth day and it will wake up on the sixth day and do 45 minutes. That means your swimming pool will stay and remain clean for the entire week. And that's something I love because that's a hustle when you leave your swimming pool and you don't know what's going on uh, and how dirty you will find it when you come back. Another important difference, I mean, uh, one of the main differences between the Webot C1 and the C2 Vision is the tray for the dirt. I mean, the shape has changed a little bit. It's basically the same, but what I would like to point out is the micro particle filter. And as you can see, I've used it for a couple of hours and it's already filthy. With this filter, you capture all the algae and all the small, really small particles that on the other robot passed through and stayed in the swimming pool without being removed. And that's pretty easy to clean. You just wash it under the, uh, under the tap and it will become clean. Same thing for this one. I'm not going to show you this because if you're watching this, I'm sure somebody else had showed showed you how to clean this. I mean, this is like standard process that if you're looking forward to get a robot, you should already know by now. I mean, for what concerns the robot, it's pretty standard, like really, uh, really well-made rubber wheels here, uh, trunk and uh, uh, what do you call it here? Like uh, armored vehicle uh, uh, rollers here that make Climbing up the walls on any kind of swimming pool very easy for this robot So this robot basically is equipped with all the latest function that you would want to have on a, On a pool robot without any hassle. I mean this makes your job of maintaining your swimming pool much easier Unboxing was like really straightforward. You find the robot you find a hook and you find the floating uh, devices and some manual. Always well packed, as Webot uh, showed us. I mean, it's something that uh, I like when I, especially because all the cardboard inside the box are all made of recycled uh, card box. So that's something I really, really appreciate. I hate it when you find foam and stuff that it's very hard to Way to like dispose and uh, I mean it's polluting the environment so shout out to Webot for the recycled card box inside I really like it and if you manage to reduce the plastic inside even better so wrapping up what can I say about the C2 Vision I mean that I haven't said yet I mean it's a great pool robot I mean I really suggest this robot if you want a pool free hustle I mean, if you don't want to dedicate too, many, too much time to cleaning your swimming pool, you just put this inside one or two times a week and let it do its magic. You can even give it a complete clean going up and down the walls, as I said. I mean, I know for sure that I will, I'll be using like 80% the dirt hunting mode on this, uh, on this pool robot because that's what like 10 or 15 minutes a day will keep my pool clean. All the links for your reference will be down in the description. I'll make sure to put a coupon code for you to uh, have a discount. Smash the like button if you did like the video, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next video.